Well, hello, this is Madeline from Madeline's Craft Room. And I am a Stampin' Up! Independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Vancouver Island. And if you are going to be able to join me tonight live, be sure to comment and participate with me. And if you catching me on the replay, uh, do that as well. And if you're new to me, make sure you tell me where you're from, as we'd all love to be able to hear where you are uh, coming from. So tonight, actually today is the big day. The new mini catalog started today, which also means celebration. And uh, oh boy, I, <laughs> Wendy, hello, Wendy. I know I've been doing stamping up, not as a demonstrator, but as a stamper for many, many years. And of course, this is the time of the year I've always enjoyed. So here we go, all the freebies. There's Yvonne, hello Yvonne, excellent. I'm glad you're here because I don't think you, well Yvonne, your catalog's waiting here for you, but you can now view this online if you go to my blog, madelinescraftroom.net, you will be able to see there's a digital version of it as well. So for now, that will have to do because, oh my goodness, there's so much goodness in here. And what did I do with my paper? Oh, oh my goodness. I don't know what I did with my paper. Oh, there it is. Ladies, I am preparing for a catalog launch again. And uh, this is always exciting because it's a free event and it's where I get to be able to show you all the really amazing stuff in the new catalog as well as we have lots of fun if you're in person. You did check it out online. Good for you, Yvonne. <laughs> exactly. And uh, if you're in person, then you get to come and enjoy some refreshments and play a game and, uh, of course, get the catalog and there's a free make and take and prizes. And, and if you are not close by, you can still join in virtual as the next day on the 30th, I'm going to do a virtual and uh, you would still have opportunities to be able to enter for the prizes as well. So mark the date, ladies. That's going to be a lot of fun. And if you can see behind me, those display boards are very, very empty. And uh, oh, I miss all the beautiful stuff, but we're gonna have all kinds of new stuff. So anyway, be watching for how that's going to grow because it is so now in celebration oops i shouldn't have put it down there yet in celebration one of the designer papers has these absolutely amazing birds and i'm just going to see if i can make this a little bigger for myself there we go so i can see your comments so in the celebration there of course as usual, a lot of items that you can get when you purchase $60 Canadian, and then you get to choose something free. And so this designer papers one, and look at these birds. They are so cute, and I love the pastel colors that they have in them. This one here, oh, flip it around, is this nice neutral kind of purple tone. And then we've got these birds. And then this beautiful background, and this is actually one that we're going to use tonight. And then we have these birds with the little bit bigger flowers and gorgeous colors. And then we've got a nice blue. And then we have this one, which we're going to use tonight as well. And the flip side is this gorgeous paper. That's going to be well used. And then we've got a whole bunch of birds that are in trees, as well as a more neutral. And again, the catalog or the uh, camera's not picking up the great detail from it, but it is very, very nice. And then we have a whole bunch of fat little fuzz, fluffy birds. And uh, we might be using this one, depending on which ones you guys choose tonight. And how come that looks, it looks the same, but it is different. Which one was it? This one. Yes, that's the difference. So this has more of a blue background. This one has more of the pink background. 
So that is one of the exciting papers. Now on the flip side of the page um, here for the celebration, there is another one and it is a cradled in love. And look at this idea here with the bird. Isn't it ever cute? Both of these are really adorable. So, so many ideas. And this is actually the stamp set. And I'm not going to use it tonight, but I'm going to show you uh, the template that we're going to use for the card. I actually made one with this one as I wanted to try that one out. And it's nice to have one very specific for a baby. I love that cute little elephant. Doesn't have to be baby for me. I like the little elephant. And what we're going to do tonight is we are going to do a template. Um, I don't know if anybody has done it. I certainly had not made it before tonight. And that is using uh, the round, the great big deckled circles that we can get online. And I made this cute little card and I especially, I'm just going to rock it so you can see it. I was thinking of it especially because a baby you can rock. <laughs> rock the baby and so this is the little uh, card that I made with that for the welcome little one so that is the template of what we're going to do but so I'm going to move that just over here for now because we're going to make another one so oh I should say when I will be putting my instructions on my blog tomorrow so that you will have all the recipes and I will put both both pictures up as well and of course it will be on YouTube as well to, by tomorrow but when you're doing this the key is that when you make it you still have to be able to make it so that it fits in your envelope and uh, I actually didn't use the largest but starting the second largest because I thought the first largest was just getting a little bit too tight for the envelope. So just remember that when you're doing this card. But here we go. We've got all these pieces and I am choosing not to use my um, trimmer for scoring. Um, I found it actually easier to just take the paper and very carefully just kind of go to the edge here. And then I hold it down and then I press down. And that way it helps that you don't get kind of those folded lines here, but you can make a nice crisp uh, fold line. So same thing. How do we get some dirt on there? Or I think it's some glue actually. So same thing. We're going to go down and meet that end. And then we're going to score it. Now I have seen people do this. I, I actually don't know how they made it. Um, I guess you could make it where you only do half and then it would be, um, I'll get the card again, and the back would not have this. I chose to make the back still look nice. So if you didn't want to do that, you could cut it off there. But anyway, I thought it would look nicer to have it on both sides. So I'm going to use our uh, multi-purpose glue in this case and I am going to put a little bit here in the middle and just around each circle edge and then I am going to put it right in the middle here. Now I purposely do not go like this and fold it down flat because I find that then it becomes tight and I want it to stay in this position. So I'm okay with it like that. So same, same here. Now we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to put glue here and a little bit on each side. And then we're going to put that in here like that. Okay. Now let's just one more time score that all right so now we have our cute little rocker <laughs> so now we need to do some work here with this now i did some work ahead of time because i didn't think you wanted to watch me do fussy cutting but i did do a lot of these are those fat birds so we can choose one of those or we can choose this 
one here with the double birds. Now what I'm going to do, because I'm not going to stamp on it, it's okay to glue it. I think it will just be good to have the uh, uh, petal pink behind it so that we can choose the right one that we think will match with it first. So I'm going to need your help in choosing which bird. So we could put something like this. What do you think? Or we could, oh, which bird? There's all kinds of different colors. Um, we could put, he's more purple. Let's, let's see if we can find more of a yellow one. There's this little guy. I don't know if we could put two on there. Yes, we probably could, but maybe not that color. It's Jenny. Hello, Jenny. So what do you think? Should we put two birds? or one bird, or these two together. And one thing I'm going to do, and probably this would have been smart to do it before I um, did put it on the pretty petal pink. Can't get my words right here. Uh, petal pink um, circle. But I am just going to put a little bit of glue. A glue. Blue. Not blue. Blue in the background just to make it so that it's not quite so stark. So we're just going to put a little bit of color, not too much. Just a little bit there in the middle. And that should be good. Yeah, they're rocking the... Oh, and I should mention, oh boy, all these things that I forgot. When you look at the stamp, of course, it has the actual legs. And of course that wouldn't have fit on there. So that's why I just cut it out here. And I thought, well, we can just be like a little seat then. But it is sweet that it has the full bassinet. Okay, so what are you thinking, ladies? We're making a rocking card tonight, Jenny. Did you see? This was the baby one that I did. So when you put it down, it rocks. Isn't that ever cool? You like the one on the branch? I do too. Anybody else? You like the smaller birds? Yes. Okay. We got two people already saying two smaller. So again, because I put some of that blue in the background, it does definitely help, doesn't it? The pear on the branch. Everybody likes that one. Okay. Let's go for it. So, what I did um, is I actually, you could pop the birds, but I actually did glue this down and pop the whole circle. And because I did not put a lot of blue, it will also be good because even though this was a fair bit of fussy cutting, you see I didn't go into that area. I guess I could have, but I didn't. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just put these little birdies. Let's see. I think I might have it hanging off of that side a little bit. You like that? Yeah, it's cute, isn't it, Jenny? So then now <clears throat> we're going to pop this. Now, when you do that, remember what we need to do is not put any dimensionals on this side. So we want to make sure that we are putting it so we can kind of follow Anything uh, below that branch is good for us. So what we're going to do is just take a few dimensionals here. And we're going to put one here, one here, and make sure we're good. We don't want to be over. Don't need them popping through and not looking so nice. Okay. And then I try to kind of keep with, well, keep it straight as well. Don't want the birdies on a slant. Let's see, right about there. So that way it's kind of about pretty close. This might be a little bit smaller, but it's pretty close. Okay, so nothing is sticking through there, you see? So now we've got that part done. Now we're going to do our sentiment. Now, I had a few choices here. Birds. What are we going to say? I was thinking of the go-to greetings of just a note. So 
So let's see if we can find that one. I want the smaller one. Uh, maybe not. Is that too small? Let's go a little bigger. Will it work? I think it will. I think that will be the right size. Okay. <clears throat> Otherwise, it could... No, I think that sentiment is good. That one can be used for almost anybody that I send it to. Okay. So here's another question is, do we stick to black or do we do blue? I'm kind of thinking we may do maybe Knight of Navy on this one. Knight of Navy is sometimes just a dark, but not quite as stark as the black. And so I am going to put this down. Now, a little bit up. I'm going to turn that over. Can I get my head in here? Let's see. Oh, now I go too far up. That's okay. Ladies, I get my, when I trim my paper, these are actually the pieces that I save. And they're fantastic because they make wonderful labels. So let's see if I can get this in there this time, right in the middle. Oops, and it flips on us. I'm okay with that. Pretty close. No, it isn't. You know what? It's angled. Oh boy. You know, only when you go on camera. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, well, I think I'm okay now because at least it's straight. All right. So now I am actually going to make this into a um, banner. And let's see if I can find my punch. I thought I had it here. There we go. My banner punch, where are we here? I always do it from the back side because then you can see what you're doing. And I, yeah, I don't want to make it too short. So I'm going to try it right there. Oh, I wanted to go the other way around. Oops, that's okay. We're going to go this way. So either have the, and I'm wearing paper. <laughs> okay. And actually, I should trim a little bit off this side now. Because we shortened this side. Okay, let's go down. There we go. Plop. And I'm wearing paper again. Okay. So there we go. We got just a note. And I think what I want to do with that, and I did that with this one, um, you see how I used a little bit of petal pink just around. And so I think this time that's what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a little bit of the balmy blue. And I'm just going to put a little bit of color. I don't want too much, but I'm just going to use the brush end and just put a little bit on the edges there. And you know what I realized for both cards? I forgot my embellishments. How could I forget embellishments? Oh my goodness. And then the other thing we could do is we could probably use, if I can get it out of here, I think we should put some Wink Estella on our birds. Why not? Let's try it. There we go. Just on the, well, maybe the flowers too. See, you could do, do whatever you want, but I think I'm going to put some on the flowers just a little bit there in the middle, not the leaves. But just on the flowers. There we go. Can you see the sparkle? I'm not sure if you can grab that on. The, oh, there you go. Now you can see it. Okay. So now embellishments. Oops. Let's grab the embellishments. <clears throat> hmm. What are we going to use? Oh boy. Decisions, decisions. Well, you know what I, I'm thinking? These ones here, I think they might still be on uh, back order, but. They are really cool. 
You like these cards? Well, I have never tried, but I kept seeing all these rocking ones. So I thought, ah, I'm going to try to figure out how to do this. So let's use some birds since we've got birds. Uh, let's see. How about where should we put them? I don't really want to put them there. How about, how about on there? Maybe make one bird coming down this way. And one bird, again, coming in this direction. Let's put him right there. Okay, so now we have some little birds. And then let's finish up this one. We won't put, won't put birds on that one, obviously. Now I can't pick it up. What should we put on this one? Whew, baby, baby, baby. Well, you know what? These are new too, ladies. This comes with the hot air balloon uh, bundle. I don't have that bundle, but look at that pretty pink. That would look pretty nice, I think, on there. So let's try one of the big ones. Uh, let's see, where are we going to put it? Hmm. Let's see, where are we going to put it? Maybe over here. And then we'll put maybe two small ones on the actual. Oh, that one got stuck on my cardboard. That won't help. Let's put one up here. And then we'll put one little one down here. So has anybody tried this this type of card before? Lots of colors, I know. And don't you love the pastel -y colors? The paper that goes with this is, I, I did get too, because it just reminds me of spring and Easter. Um, kind of nice to see those colors for a change, especially after Christmas. Okay, now we got that one. Let's put this on. Now, when you put this title on, so tell me in the comments if you have made one of these. I don't even know what they call it. Do they call it a rocking card? I don't know. <laughs> I'll call it a rocking card. How's that? <laughs> now, no, but oh, yes. And the one I saw it, they used the bees, you know, the bee Valentine set. And yes, it looks really cute with the bees as well. But I decided to change it up. Good idea. No, you haven't either, Yvonne, eh? Okay. It's always fun to try some new things, isn't it? So this one I'm going to put down. I'm going to probably put it about here. And I can see my dimensional. Oh, come on. Don't rip off of there. It's going to be a little bit too high. You do not want them layering on top of each other. So I'm going to trim a little bit of this off. Because then it's just not going to be even. So we will do it. Whoops, now we have to move our little bird. Oh, no. Valentine, you like that idea? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cute. I, I wouldn't mind making one with the, bum, uh, the, the bee set as well. Ugh, this doesn't want to come off. Okay, I'll work on it. But I think that's what I'll do is I might just put it maybe even up there. So there we have our cards, ladies. We got two different. Now, of course, they are the same color. Um, just because I was working and I just loved this for the, the baby. It looked really pretty with that as well. But you could, of course, use any designer paper. And uh, there we have it two different cards. So thank you for joining me, ladies, and be watching. There's going to be lots more goodies that, that are going to be appearing, not just on my um, lives, but I will be, of course, getting them ready for the, the display in the back, as well as uh, the catalog launch. So stay tuned and be sure to sign up if uh, you're local, and then that way, I can make sure I have card kits for you. So, all right, ladies, thanks so much for joining me. Bye for now.